Hey, Eric, this is Mo. Mo, quick question, right? Uh, I, I was um, I was on our brainstorming group last week, but uh, you weren't on. I spoke with Randy about this question, and I want to run it by you again uh, with the group on. Um, so, in terms of consultancy, right? When you're looking for a company, you know, we talk, uh, I've heard the you know the saying that you know look for a company that uh, you know their revenue is um, twenty plus million. You know, they're more better uh, in in listening to you and and, and wanting to get into the government. So, I'm trying to find companies um that uh you know that are making that uh that type of revenue uh without paying for the data um so R randy were able to help me to kind of contact my p tech um they might be able to help me but i just want to bring that question up to see um you know what the group thinks about uh, possible ways to go after uh, information on companies and, and their revenue um their revenue data well i think first let's uh i think you know, someone that has that's doing, I would say, at least five million, um, preferably over ten. You don't have to go to twenty million. Um, so, if someone's doing five million, uh, you know, ten million dollars, they're going to have staff, they're going to have team, they're going to have experience. But uh, I think more importantly, you want uh, what I like, and again, this is, doesn't answer your question, but what I've seen, Mo, in my experience, is that some people. And I, and I just actually learned this. This is actually a really good lesson taught to me by my buddy Brian, who's a former hedge fund guy. He goes, Eric, whenever you're doing a deal with somebody, see if they're leaning in or leaning back. And you'll know by the way they talk to you and how they respond, how responsive they are, and how they call you, if they're leaning in or leaning back. And so that's something that I found, Mo, in my experiences, is when you're working with people, and um, I don't see them on the call, but I had a guy who had a client and he was always leaning back, like, well, let's see what happens. Or, uh, and I'm like, that's not the kind of guy you want. You want someone motivated. You want someone that's tried their hand at the government world, possibly. They failed. It didn't work out. They spent a bunch of money. And they're like, you know what? This thing is hard. And now they appreciate someone coming along and providing them with professional <laughs> counseling, services, uh, and business development. So they, you know, they respect that and they value it. And then they want to lean in and help you be able to help them. So for me, Mo, I think that that is actually more important than the, the numbers, okay? So just kind of bear that in mind. Don't just look for raw numbers because uh, you'll have companies, and, and we've had companies that do $20 million a year, right? And they told my guy they want to pay them like 1% of the deal. And I'd said, okay, uh, 1%, I forgot what it was. It was like... What was it? Two hundred thousand. So I said, okay. So to recreate your entire business is only worth two hundred thousand dollars. And I said, likelihood of you doing a twenty million dollar deal is highly unlikely. So you're going to do something. Say, let's say you do five million dollar deal. So I'm going to get fifty. It was like fifty grand to do five million dollar deal. And I said, look, you know, you could go become a manager at Burger King and make fifty grand. And I mean, I just told him just like that. And I was like, that's an insult because. You're not even saying that what you've done is valuable. And I think a 20 minute, someone who has a 20 mile company is very impressive. But um, so I think for me, Mo, saying that is just like, don't get hung up on the numbers. Um, I would definitely look at whether or not the person is leaning in or leaning back in the conversation. And you could tell by their level of excitement. They'll tell you, hey, Mo, you know what? I tried this thing. And uh, I, I don't know if Kelly Fawcett's on. <laughs> But Kelly Fawcett or Polanco, they had a client and the guy was like, oh, this government thing doesn't work. And, you know, they don't want to give us contracts. You can't work with people like that because they're not going to they're not going to do everything that it takes to try and win a contract. They're not going to give you the resumes you need. They're not going to give they're not going to respond to the source of thought like you asked. They're not going to give you um, like they you know, they're not going to give you a company email address. They're not going to allow you to put your name on a capability statement. They're not going to want to attend capabilities briefings. They're not going to want to attend industry, industry day meetings. They're not going to want to do the activities, right? They're just going to be a negative Nelly about the whole thing. So for everyone out there listening, just be mindful. I mean, the money, you definitely got to have someone that has a team in place, but, oh, negative Nancy. But um, more importantly, you got to have someone that's leaning in and that wants to do a deal and that's excited about getting to the marketplace and they are just as motivated as you are because 
that is going to be the person that, you know, six months from now when, you know, you're, you're still doing these activities and you haven't won a contract, they're going to be like, look, it's okay, Mo. I know that this isn't a, a, this isn't a short-term thing. It's a long-term thing. And so we're, you know, we're going to stick behind all the efforts and we know it's going to kick in eventually. Now, Excellent. No, no, those, those, yeah. are, those are very helpful and I'll, I'll definitely keep them in mind. Right. Those are some really good nuggets. Now, in terms of like how you start to look for data on the companies uh, that have not done business with the government. Well, I mean, that's easy to find, right? So again, you know, uh, there's a lot of places to find data on companies. I think you could look at your, your state. I'm sure there are a list of the top 100 XYZ companies, the top 200 XYZ companies, whatever industry you want to go after. Uh, you know, one of the things that I, I read about many, many years ago, when it was a book called Networking with Millionaires. And uh, it was written, I think Thomas Stanley wrote that book, Networking with Millionaires. And one of the things that they said in that book was attend industry events. So for example, let's say you, and, it, and he always referenced like insurance salesmen and financial salespeople. And he said, become a value to the industry. So for example, like Montina talked about sitting on the board of her SBDC. Um, now you could look at a particular industry and join that industry event. And so, for example, let's say you want to get into, I don't know, uh, IT space. So you could find out what is the uh, organization for IT professionals. You could join that organization, and they will have their list of top IT companies. Same thing if it was construction. We have, you know, we have the Latin Builders Association. You have the Minority Builders Association. You could join any one of these associations, and they will have an award show, an awards gala, they will have their list of who's who in the association. And if you go to any of the industry meetings, you will see the CEOs of those companies. And so you could always cross-reference those lists with uh, FPDS and see who is actually doing any federal procurement. And that's, that's one of the ways that you can do that, right? For any, and every single industry has an association, every industry, healthcare, um, uh, pharmacists, doctors, dentists, they all have associations. So regardless of the space that you want to get into, you could find out what's the national organization for uh, dental physicians in America. And you'll see that. And then you can see, do the same thing with doctors or therapists or massage therapists, anything, uh, lifeguards, right? And then you join that association and then you will find the top people in your state, in your country, in your region, Da, 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 da. And by being a part of being a member of that association, they will give you access to those lists because you're a member. Click the join button now to find out about all of the different membership options. You can start off as a fan supporter and move your way all the way up to a GovCon insider.